Hi there, Leslie here. I wanted to talk to you today about a topic that I've discussed in the past about not letting what others say uh, keep you bogged down and not letting their opinions, their thoughts, their judgments, uh, their gossip, whatever it is that they, they do to you, um, they have done to you, the past or the current. You know, critics, as I've mentioned in a previous uh, video that I did, the critics do not dictate what your past, present, or future will be. And that's true for family, friends, acquaintances. People will say the most bizarre things. But let me read you a verse that says, it is for, and this is something that Paul wrote, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. And you know, slavery is a very tough word. Slavery can um, put a picture in your mind of different things. You could have as a child felt that you were almost like in a prison if you were bullied as a child or bullied in school. It could be at home or school, right? Or bullied by siblings where it felt like a prison um, or changed schools like I did and felt initially bullied, but I um, honestly, I, I overcame it. It made me really very physically ill for a while. And then I overcame that and started just giving them my mother's look, a mom look that was pretty powerful. And I wouldn't lower myself to their uh, non-existent standards. So what did it do? It made me tougher. You know, I didn't want to be, I was a gentle person and I didn't want to necessarily be tougher, but I had to steel myself against comments like that because those type of things that keep us uh, tied up and bogged down and burdened, as it says in the scripture, is definitely a type of uh, type of action that other people do to stall us and it's done many times on purpose for evil reasons for sometimes these people that do it haven't had the ability to understand what their gifts are what they haven't had the chance to dream now am I giving them excuses no I'm not do I feel sorry yes I do but that shouldn't put a yoke on you like the yoke that they put on oxen to keep them in a certain line, in a certain path. If you are destined to do something else, it may be this field, the paralegal field, as I've said before, it may be something totally different. You don't know until you step, you put your toe into the water and you step forward. But don't let other people stop you. Don't let that happen. God has a plan and a purpose for you. I have no idea what that is. What can be joyous is, well, first of all, breaking those bonds that are tying you up and you don't feel you can go forward. And it's so much of it is fear-based. So it becomes a trust matter in trusting in the plan that he has for you and trusting in the gifts that he's put inside of you, some of which you have not even discovered now. So I want you to think on these things and remember what this verse says. It's all about freedom, all about freedom that God has given us. He set Christ has set us free. When you know Jesus as your savior, and how do we get to know Jesus as our Savior? Well, this is what John 3.16 says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, which is Jesus, that whosoever believeth on him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That belief in Jesus, in Christ, and what he did on the cross for us is, is freedom. Salvation is that simple. All you have to do is pray that prayer today. Say, Jesus, save me. I want what you did on the cross. I accept what you did on the cross. 
That's your that's salvation. God made it simple. He never made it difficult. Never made it difficult for us to come to him. And if you grew up in a different way that it's so difficult and God is an unloving God, it's so not true. God is omniscient, omnipotent, all-powerful, but he is a loving father. He's a good, good father to us. So in that regard, he gave us the freedom to follow our uniqueness, to follow our path. And so now it's time for you to do that. There's no waiting, no procrastination. Now it's time for you to do that. Whatever that path is, and how do you discover it? You have to you have to start moving down a path and then he'll show you if that's the right one or not but you have to make a commitment and you have to let go of those bonds those chains there's a song out that's so wonderful called break every chain and that's what that refers to we are free in Christ when we accept him as our Savior we are free indeed no more slavery no more bondage to anyone or anything it's a powerful thing so think on these things let me know what you think and comment below um, I adore you I'm grateful for you I'm so thankful that you're here and um, look forward to the next video I can't wait to meet you here again take care bye bye